I want to thank the champs and say Chimigwitz for being a big thank you. It's been a challenging time in our world, and I'd like to thank the Argos for giving us a reason to celebrate. You know, you know tomorrow we go back to whatever we need to do. Now, how many of you enjoy getting free stuff? How many of you enjoy getting free stuff? Would you please welcome the A team to the stage? And they've got just. as the owner of your Toronto Argonauts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to introduce Mr. Larry Tannenbaum.
Canadian Football League legend Michael Pinball Clement. culture within the Argos that has And I, on behalf of the Mayor and representing City Council, officially, Mr. Tannenbaum, a proclamation of today, November the 24th, 2022, Double Blue Day, here in Toronto, sir. It's Double Blue Day, it's Double Blue Season! Yes. That's what made this great cup possible. Um, when I was asked to oversee the Argos five years ago, uh, we had a couple of tough first, first years, my first two years, um, but I knew there was an Argos and a CFL legend out there that could bring us the culture we want. Um, it took a little convincing. Uh, I thank his wife, Diane, every day. Um, but like always, he answered the bell. And I am incredibly honored to invite our next speaker up here, our general manager. And this championship would not be possible without him, Pinball Clemens. to say this is one of the proudest days of my life yeah. and I in truth don't know quite where to start but I am going to try to move quicker than normal uh, this is a celebration uh, consistent with that, I, uh, well, I have to start at the top. And while we celebrate Mr. Larry Tannenbaum for so many reasons, I actually got a chance to see a photo of him. He looked like he was about eight or nine years old, and he was pictured in an Argo t-shirt with the Grey Cup. Yeah. And, uh, and so this has been a part of his DNA for a long time. But what I think is often left out of that equation is the best part of him. When I think of Mr. Tannenbaum, he's not complete without Judy. And every time I see her, the energy she embodies, uh, and she, she doesn't have to be out here in the cold today, right? That's a fan. That's somebody who is, who, who is for us, who's behind us, right? So, so we made the call, Larry, 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 Larry. Well, let's flip the script. Today is... Judy, 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 Judy. If, if 
I can uh, go, keep going. I need to go a little bit quicker here. Um, Bill Manning asked me to do this job, and, and I, I told him no, and I, uh, I, I, I said that because I care about it so much, and um, I knew that I would get lost in it. And uh, for me, we played, um, had 12 years to play and then coached for another seven or eight or something like that and and uh, I tried to then you know really dedicate myself to my family because uh, you don't want it said that your players see you as a father figure but your kids don't know you as a father and, and uh, so that part was very important to me uh, but in saying that yeah. In saying that, um, my kids are actually bigger fans than I am. I, so, 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 so they said, "What are you doing? Are you crazy? Take that job!" Right? And uh, so, I am very proud to be up here. And I want to say a thank you to all of our different component parts. This guy, Vince Magri, right there, right? Yes, that's my right hand guy, right? Yes. He is the one who does all the late night work and then he makes me look good in the daytime, right? So he's the one that's up late. And the guy who is up just as late right behind him, right? That is Mr. Alex Russell. Would you turn, give him a hand? Now, yes. yeah, they're both taken, so they both have girlfriends. So, but so, 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 but, but they're yeah, yeah. And they say they're, but they're not married yet. So, so, I, I want to thank, thank the both of those guys, and. Uh, I just become a, a grandfather for the first time. Yes. And she's sitting right up here. Yes, our little Carter Janae. Yes. I say that because the other guy I want to mention on my squad is, well, my right hand guy um, in terms of just mentorship and being there, and he is uh, Jim Barker. Now, I, 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 so our therapy team really want to celebrate our therapy team. They are amazing. Yes. Guys, where's our media team? Doing media stuff. They're doing media stuff. So they're, so they're doing media stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Good stuff. And, and and now we have our our doctors that come alongside of our therapy team. Respectfully. Respectfully. To everyone else in our organization, uh, I just haven't known you as long. This man has been with us 39 years. And because of our relationship, there are over, you know, 33 years that I've been here. Um, there's no one in this organization that I trust more, um, and and I trust deeply. Uh, but the just experiences that we've had together, um, and his consistency, and how much the Argos mean to him, um, just speaks to how much he means to me. And uh, so I just I just want to huge round of applause for Dan. So, so we, uh, we also have our video team who's headed by my right-hand man's brother, 
John Magri and Marcus! I, uh, I, I've already, all my time has already elapsed, but uh, I, I, my job today is to say thank you. Thank you to everybody. This, this media team that's been doing all of our social media is, is a phenomenal. And our, we have so many people that are working behind the scenes that, that really do the real work. And, and uh, uh, our job is to say thank you to them. Um, now I'd like to move on to say... We have this little thing that we do, right? And what we want for everybody, everybody in the plaza, is to find your sweet spot in life. Yeah. When I say sweet, would you say spot? Ready? Sweet! 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 Now, now this time with more passion, okay? When I say sweet, you say spot. Ready? Sweet! I'm getting ready to get to the sweet spot. Hey. I'm not gonna point anybody out individually because we needed everyone on this stage to make it here, right? And so, two more things I have to do. The one is to thank this team because they are the reason. When I coached, the very first time I got a chance to coach in the Grey Cup, in that morning, you, you want to get that good speech in, right? Because before the game, right, it's too much energy. They nervous. All you do is yell. I don't know if people seen that little video that I did before the game. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's cute, but it's unconscionable, right? It's, it's just, and they don't know. They're just yelling. Ah, because they're ready to go. They're ready to play, right? But so, so before the game, in the, in the morning, that morning talk is actually when you can actually reach them and talk to them, right? And um, that day I said, instead of me talking, I want you to talk. Because you don't win championships because of coaches or GMs. You win them because of players. Yeah. So, right now, I want you to just go crazy for the next 15 seconds for the 2022 Breakup Champion. to honor the people who make it happen. The team has to win, but they have to be driven by something or someone. And that's you, our fans. As I close, 
I want to say that I think my greatest strength in life is I understand how important I'm not. And I mean that sincerely. When you get past yourself, you can do something decent in the world. You see, the very fact that I have a car creates congestion. The very fact that I own a home makes the prices of homes go up. The very fact that I go to the grocery store drives passes, uh, prices up. If all I ever do is take from my community, my community becomes depleted, right? It is the strength of coming together as community, of giving back. That's our greatest strength. And you, our fans, give us more than we can ever ask for. You. You fans are what I like to say is phenomenal. Say it with me. Phenomenal. Thank you. Sir. And I'm sure I've left a lot of people out here, but let's give it up for our players. They have to put up with me for every day for six months in person, but it's six months outside of that too. These guys sacrifice a lot, so does their families, and they, you know, a lot of guys choose to move up here and from the States and a lot of folks move from Canada to come to Toronto and I can imagine how excited these players are but let's give them a round of applause for what a great job they did. Well we got one more speaker we got to give this guy some uh, credit. Championship this year give it up for Mr. Consistency Boris Beatty! Fans here today. Well, first of all, I had an opportunity to uh, potentially uh, record this, and now I'm regretting saying I should have done it live. So, um, <laughs> as we've done all year, I say, screw it, let's do it, let's do it live, let's make it happen. When Pinball asks you to do something, you don't, uh, when he asks you to jump, you don't say why, you say how high. So, uh, Pinball told me to do this, so I'm here. Um, I would like to first just kind of explain my, my absence, um, uh, football takes everything it's uh to, to play elite professional football it takes the entire body mind and soul it takes everything it takes on a daily basis in and out continued insanity so today when i had the opportunity to go home for american thanksgiving and be with my wife shanaka and my daughter aziza for the first time i get to choose them i get to choose them and the day when we're all going to be celebrated those are the people that make the sacrifices. We, football is easy. We can do it every day. I can do it all day long. But every football player, behind every man on that stage is a support network, is family, is loved ones, is people that fed into them. They don't do it alone. And those people don't always get the credit. And so for me to let make my choice today on a day that when, when I could be celebrated, I instead want to celebrate them, I felt like that was the right choice. So I miss my brothers. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. Um, I appreciate everyone for the journey that we've been on. Um, I, uh, I was so lucky in 2017 to be on the journey to go get that cup. And I knew when I saw that brotherhood, I knew that I could build something like that. I love it. I don't want this celebration to end, ladies and gentlemen. 
before I introduce the next video, I would be remiss if I did not extend a happy Thanksgiving to all of our American friends and family who are here today. Happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. Absolutely. And now... stage right now and everything that we did really happened yeah. I still can't believe every day I tell my wife did that really happen yeah. did that really happen yeah. but I know for a fact that we are champs yeah. so I'm gonna say we are y'all say champs we are yeah. we are yeah. I'm gonna ask you to say I'm gonna say it again but this time say it like you mean it Say like you were on the field with all these guys. Say like we, you hit the guys that were on the other side, like all the defensive guys. Say like you caught the touchdown. Say like you ran the ball in the end zone with the guy. We are! Yeah. We are! Yeah. We are! Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Before I even get too crazy, before I lose my mind on this stage, I just want to say so, so much thanks has to go to the people right here too. Mac was talking about them, how much they've supported us, starting with my wife, Jessica. I have three beautiful daughters, but I see all the other significant others as well. And the ones that couldn't make it, they help us so much. And they allow us to do what we do on the field. Thank God for just being here. I don't know what I would do without them. But... The funny thing that's special about this team is that we were so resilient. It trickles down all the way to everyone here on the field, on this, in this place. The security guards, everybody that played a role in us getting to where we are today. Thank you. We are! Yeah. We are! Yeah. There were so many people that said so many things leading up to that week. And Coach Dinwiddie, Coach Mace and the rest of the coaching staff instilled so much confidence in us. And we, from the very beginning, from the time we landed in Regina, believed that we were the better team. But we didn't listen to that. We didn't listen to that. I heard a speech said by a great man before. He said, it's not the critic who counts. It's not the man who points out where the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done it better. No, the credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena. Yeah. I was in the arena. Yeah. They were in the arena. They were in the arena. You all were in the arena. We are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. I'm gonna finish by saying this. One of the other narratives that was out there was that we came from Toronto and it wasn't, it's not cold here. And, and we get to, when we get to Regina, we're gonna be too cold in the game. <laughs> but we had a guy, he wears number 33. He's from Winnipeg. They call it winter pen. And they thought we were gonna be too cold. But what did you say, y'all? What did Drew say? So we got out there and we didn't care. It wasn't cold at all. It wasn't cold enough. It wasn't cold enough. Not cold enough. Not cold enough. And who's cold here? Are we cold here? Are we cold here? Hey, one last 
Star. We are. We are. We are. Oh.